uh, I'm going to be prepping this concrete, this front porch, for a concrete overlay. And uh, so I'm going to blow it off, do an acid wash on it. That uh, cleans out the pores, cleans the concrete up, but it also, uh, you know, makes the alkalinity of the concrete um, real nice for, for a concrete overlay. It makes the alkalinity right. Then you neutralize that acid and then do a nice pressure wash on it. Pressure wash gets that acid and the soupy stuff out of the pores and gets it cleaned up for a nice bite for your overlay. I'm gonna be spraying on my acid out of just a regular garden sprayer. Uh, you know, you wanna mix your acid with some water. It just depends on what kind of profiling you're trying to get. And, uh, but you can do a 50-50 water and acid mix uh, is usually pretty decent. Okay, now, now that the acid's on there and done its work, I'm going to neutralize it. You always want to neutralize your acid. I use ammonia to neutralize it. You just want to get a good, good full coverage coat so that the, the alkalinity of the concrete uh, gets, gets to where it needs to be. So uh, just using a garden sprayer once again to get my ammonia on there. Okay, now we've finished up the fresh washing, got those pores of that concrete nice and cleaned out. And now we're going to let it dry up a little bit and uh, put down our overlay, mix up our concrete and put down a, a thin coat of concrete. We're going to make it look like Italian slate with our trowel. Do a light sand on it, stain it, seal it up, and we're done. Okay, we're going to be doing a concrete overlay. Uh, I'm going to do a simulated uh, stamp. It's uh, done by the trowel and it looks like an Italian slate stamp. Uh, you get the texture from your trowel. So after properly preparing the concrete, which I have done, uh, I acid stained it, neutralized it, and then pressure washed it to clean out the pores. Now uh, you don't ever want to fill the expansion joints with concrete even though this is flexible and stronger than regular concrete. Because of the movement it will end up cracking and, and delaminating there at the expansion joints. So I tape off my expansion joints so that I can just uh, pull the excess off out of there. And then you tie in the expansion joints when you go to stain it, you'll stain the expansion joints as well so it ties the whole overlaying them together real nice. Okay, now that it's prepped and taped, uh, I mixed up my concrete. It's a polymer modified concrete meant for uh, you know going over regular concrete on a thin level. Um, goes on about 3 sixteenths of an inch, a quarter if you're going to stamp the top of it. I'll be uh, getting the texture out of it with my trowel. So uh, once you mix it up and add your polymers to it, you just simply pour it out and trowel it out. Okay, with my square trowel is where I do all my edging so I'm careful to not get it on the house and then I, I use it to, to get a nice even spread. Once I got my spread, then I use this trowel for my texture and there's you can go rougher textures or smoother textures. You just got to be careful uh, when, it, when the temperature is real hot because it will want to set up on you real quick. But uh, with this trowel you can get a smoother texture or a rougher texture. It depends if I'm going for a flagstone look or a slate or what it is you're going for. Okay, you just spread out the concrete evenly. So I use my square trowel if I'm doing corners or if I'm just wanting to get a spread out of it. Spread it out nice and even. Once it's even, then you can take your circular trowel here and you can get whatever kind of texture you want. You can get a lighter texture. You can really rough it up, make it look like some flagstone or some rougher slate. It's just a personal thing, and it's just with a little practice with the trowel. Is what kind of uh, pet, you know, finish you're going to put on it. Now, with, with my trowel, is how I'm getting my texture. So, with a little practice, you just kind of mess with the side of it or rough it up however you want, but you can make it rougher or smoother from the trowel. I'm always going for a rough look, usually, so. 
crazy, give it a nice little texture to it with my trout. Pick some of it up. Okay, now I pulled up the tape on the expansion joints before it got the concrete got too hard to pull it up. And uh, now I'm just going to do a cleanup on my scraps, on my tape. And then I'm going to do a light sand over it to knock down any highs. And it also makes it look more slaty after I, I give it a nice sand.